Shalom, Kohlo, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the Aquaf that are listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm, continuing. They cut off the camera. Um, this is, you know, it seems to be a usual thing uh, when I'm trying to record, so I'm not shocked. Um, can't say that I don't get mad, but I'm just going to keep going, keep doing the work. Um, but I was to the portion of the movie where the girl seems to have come back from the dead. All of a sudden, she's back again after being ripped to pieces. As people are rioting for her, she shows up and the deaths that were being caused by her are starting all over again. All right. Look, let me let me grab a couple quick scriptures because real to life, uh, the Lord clearly says that there are spirits to be created for vengeance. Um, let me see if I can find that real quick. I think that's a rock. Right, Sirach 39, 28, and it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So whether that comes from another person, or, you know, because a beast can be a person, a creature, all right? Or, uh, um... Or actual beast is what I should have said. You know, a creature could be a, a man or a beast. That's what I really meant to say. But uh, but it's but they all have spirits, right? So the so the spirit, you know, could jump on a person or it could jump on a creature to inflict pain in the in the destruction, and it actually appeases the Lord that sent them, that made them. All right. And so now this vengeance, this spirit of vengeance, is back is back. All right. And they're trying to figure out what's going on because the footage that is being shown, the cop that was there when she fell on, on a train, he recognizes her. He knows it's her. So he's freaking out. All right. But let me read verse 29. Fire and hell and famine and death and all these were created for vengeance. And fire and hell and death, floods, that's all that's taking the world right now. See? So the apocalyptic feel in the world is matching the apocalyptic feel in this movie which is, you know, the motivation behind most of these Hollywood directors come straight from the Bible. Because that's the time that we're in. All right, let me grab another scripture. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 50. And, it's, and it reads, uh, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of power. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. So if you're corruptible, you're not going to inherit incorruption, which is immortality. That's only for the elect. And no heathen will ever see that. That the only, only way see heathen gonna see powers is in Hollywood and Bollywood. That's it. They're never gonna get that power. You're never gonna have a, a heathen's eyes light up or them fly or have superhuman strength or being or be a uh, uh you know, not vulnerable to, to pain, to fire, to weather, to poison, to any, they're never going to know what that's like. All right. It's never going to happen for a heathen. Hence the reason why Esau Edom hates you so much. All right. And it says, behold, I will show you a mystery. We shall all not sleep, but we shall, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. The trumpet shall sound and the dead shall rise incorruptible and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and the mortal must put on immortality. All right. So that's what it is. And that's that's where it's going. 
All right. Look, mass death and destruction are at the doorstep of, of every door in America and around the world and every place where Basra dwells. Because the Lord in every place where ba Basra is, you know, that same death angel, which was Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus in Egypt, he's going to visit every place, you know, according to Psalm 63, he's going to visit every place where Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is, and the rest of you heathens. And you two-thirds, man, the eyes, the eyes of the Lord are on the sinful kingdom. All right? And when the Lord returns, he's returning to a world that's ran by Esau, that's controlled by Esau. So Christians that teach that Esau is done away with, well, that's just not true. It's a complete and total lie. So with that, I give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kwam Yasharala.